Hi, and welcome to another episode of Art Together. In this episode, we will be exploring another element of art, the element of color. Before we get started, I'd love to say hello to my grandchildren, the kids that inspired me to do this, Olivia, Jonah, Thatcher, Rin, Imogen, Roya, and Luca. Hello to you all. In this lesson, we'll be talking about color. Color is sometimes called hue. We'll be talking about primary colors and secondary colors, warm colors, cool colors, and we'll also be making a color wheel. Did you know that you have to have light to see color? Say you take something that's red, hold it up to the window and see how deep that red looks. Then take that same object into a room that's dark. Does it look the same color? You know, I think Wally is excited to get going with this lesson. Let's start. Let's begin exploring color by making a color wheel, or in this case, a color star. I took a piece of paper, a white piece of paper, and I made myself a triangle that I'm going to trace. Turn my paper around the opposite way and trace around it. And we have a six-pointed star which is going to be our color star. We will begin by painting the primary colors take some yellow and put it in the point of the star. And I will clean off my brush really well. I'm going to skip this point and then I'm going to color this point red. And then finally, the last primary color we have is blue. And these are the colors that when you mix them together, make all the colors that you can paint with. Next, we're going to be painting the secondary colors. And you call them secondary colors because you take the primary colors and you mix two of them together and it makes another color. So I am going to take yellow. Moving around my color star or color wheel, I'm going to be mixing yellow and blue, and it is going to be making green.
finally, I will be mixing primary color of red and blue together. And it will be making violet or purple. Now you have your basic color wheel. Project, we are taking a look at primary colors, blue, red, yellow, and then we are looking at secondary colors, green, violet, and orange. To begin our primary, secondary art piece, we first need to divide the paper into half. So I will take the ruler and mark five and a half inches five and a half inches, and draw a line between those two marks. And now I have a side for primary color, and I have a side for secondary colors. I went into my kitchen and I got some lids to make the circle, to trace the circles on my art project. So it doesn't really matter even if the circles are entirely in the paper. You can have them kind of go off the paper. It is a good idea to do some overlapping that makes some interesting shapes. circles you trace, the more colors you will put on your artwork. And now I have both sides, one for primary colors and one for secondary color. Once I have my circles on both sides, I'm going to start filling it in with marker. I'll start out with blue, and it helps to trace the shape that you're going to be coloring first before you fill it in. Makes the lines a little bit neater. And then I think I will do red here because I don't want blue, blue and blue. And for secondary, I'll start out with some purple. 
do some violet. Coloring the same direction. Orange next to it. page with color and trying hard so that you don't have the same color touching the same color. Here I use paint instead of markers. Let's get started on our warm color, cool color project. Taking a rectangle piece of paper, I want to make a line in the middle, so I am going to measure out five and a half inches because that's the middle of my paper. And five and a half inches. And draw a line. It's one for warm and one for cool. Then I'm going to be starting to sketch my lines. And I think I'll go like this. And we'll do the same over here. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. They don't look the same exactly, but they're similar. Now I have my lines drawn and I'm going to go over them with a black marker. You want to continue this until you have all the line, pencil lines covered with black marker. I'm ready to begin coloring with markers. I have my warm colors here, red, orange, and yellow, and my cool colors here, blue and another kind of blue, and violet or purple. I'm going to start coloring. Now if you're choosing to do this in marker, it's always a good idea when you color in to go the same direction makes it a little bit neater and it lays the color on a little bit more smoothly and evenly. All right, so I need to make a decision about what to color this color here, this section here, and I don't want it to be red because then I'd have red touching red. So I think maybe I'll use orange. And I can turn my paper this way make it a little bit easier if I'm going to be laying the color from the marker on in this direction. All right, I have my warm colors colored in here. Now I'm going to start with my cool colors.
Now I'm switching over to using colored pencils. I have yellow and orange, which is gonna be the warm side, and blue and green, which is going to be the cool side. First, I'm going to lay down the orange color. You notice I'm still coloring all in the same direction. And then I want to make my own color, which is a yellow orange. So I'm going to be putting yellow on top of the orange. And over on the cool side, I'm going to be laying down the green. And I will go over it with blue, so I have a blue-green color. I like this mixed media because it actually has a different texture. The marker and the color pencil look a little bit different. So now we have a side that is using warm colors. And we have a side that is using cool colors. Artists oftentimes use color to express feeling. If you color cover up side. Do you have a feeling about warm colors? Then if you cover up the warm color side, do you have a different feeling when you look at cool colors? What are those feelings? Take a look at these artists. See how they use color in their paintings. for joining me in this episode of Art Together, the episode about color. See you next time.